Welcome back to the show. Oh my goodness, hard to believe it's the 71st edition of the Canadian Tulip Festival coming up. They're celebrating in a very unique way, as they do each and every year. But some of your favorites, of course, will be back. And one of our favorites uh, joins us to tell us about what's happening at this year's Tulip Festival. Ms. Joe Riding. Joe, how are you? Hello, I'm great. Thanks for having me. It's great to have you because you always bring energy. Like as soon as I see you in the green room, I'm like, I am uplifted. And it's, I think I think all of the guests on the show <laughs> felt the same way <laughs> when they saw great. you. Um, this is steeped in a lot of history oh, and yeah. it's it's so unique in that um, it really it really came by a, a gift from the Dutch. Tell us a little bit about the history, That's Joe. That's it. It is a romantic, royal, and military story unlike anyone else in the country. Mm -hmm. So we received the gift of tulips after the Second World War because Canadian soldiers played a huge part in liberating the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. Now, Hollywood has a different take on that, but we know better. Yeah. We lost 7,500 uh, soldiers during that liberation. And at the same time, we were hosting uh, members of the Dutch royal family and of course one of them had a baby here at the Ottawa Civic Hospital, Princess Marguerite. Uh, so when um, her mother, Princess Juliana, uh, got home, she sent Ottawa 100,000 tulip bulbs to say thank you for freeing her country and for providing such a wonderful, safe and friendly place for them to live during the occupation. The uh, the Netherlands gives us tulips every year. Still, right? Every year since. 20,000 bulbs come in. Wow. We plant some of them in Commissioner's Park, where the festival is located. Right. Some go to the Pearly Rideau, our veterans hospital. Yeah. Some go to uh, the Ottawa Civic, where Princess Marguerite was born. And some even go to the Presbyterian Church, where she was baptized. Incredible. <laughs> yeah. and, and some of them are, are like, I mean, it's changed over the years, right? Like each year, do you do a, a new unique one? That's right. Yeah. So the Canadian Tulip Festival, uh, as we say, the National Capital Commission, Canada's official gardener, plants the tulips, and the Canadian Tulip Festival celebrates them. Right. So our job is to bring the commemoration, uh, to make sure that the festival is free to all Canadians because the gift of tulips was given to all Canadians. So right. we are a national charity. We offer the festival free, and one of the ways we make our, our money is through an annual tulip bulb fundraiser. So last year we put out the Naval Reserve tulips because... Mm -hmm. We're celebrating the uh, Naval Reserve Centennial this year. And this year, we're coming out with our Royal Canadian Air Force tulips because next year, we're doing 100 years of the Air Force. Oh, terrific. So yeah. some big celebration. Although you're only 71 years around, uh, we're, we're celebrating some, some huge, significant milestones, Absolutely. right, and when it comes to our Canadian military. Um, You've got your walking tours that are that are back. Uh, these are very unique to, to something new you wanted to do as well, right? Yes, so there's so much going on that's new this year. So um, our walking tours, again, those are the only two things that have a cost. So you can come right. and enjoy free movies, shopping, food trucks, you name it. If you want to purchase a walking tour for the day, that's the Tulip Legacy walking tour. About 45 minutes in Commissioner's Park at Dallas Lake, 10 bucks a person. Kids are free. Uh, but the evening tour is where we're really excited. Yeah. We premiered a ghost tour tour last year. It's called Ghost of the Glebe. And what we do is your tour guide is set in 1946 in Commissioner's Park. The tulips have just come up for the very first time. And so she's telling you about her friends that left this year from the Naval Reserve from the actual neighborhood who didn't make it back. Wow. So when you come around a corner, you'll meet these ghosts. This is a, a basically like a four-man uh, theater production. Okay. So it is really something. We work with uh, Riley Stewart from Ottawa Little Theater and Chaotic Industries. The actors are so fantastic. Last year, one of them was so good, I did a double take. It was like, <laughs> see, it was literally <laughs> like seeing a ghost. Like he was so committed to awesome. the role. So the ghost tour, I've got to say, if you have a chance, come check it out. It's $20 per person. Again, kids 12 and under are free. Um, but last year, everybody left with either goosebumps or tears in their eyes or both. And that's I what we it. like. We want to hit you in the feels. Uh, and another thing you're doing, too, is that, that boardwalk, right? Uh, that yeah. What is it? Blacklight boardwalk? Black is that what you're calling boardwalk. it? Blacklight yeah. boardwalk. It's back. So there's nothing like this in the world. So this is 20 tulip planters all lit under UV light. The reason we do that is not just because it's fun to glow which of course it is, everyone yeah. likes to check their lint and their teeth, um, but 
because that's how pollinators see the flowers. And the pollen glows. So what right. they see is totally different from what we see and they leave little trails for each other all along the flower garden. So all along the Dow's Lake boardwalk, we've got some lo-fi funk going on nice. with this incredible black lit tulip display. Right. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned movies earlier. Yes. Uh, and that's that's something that's free. So what, what, what type of movies are we talking about? Well, what we did was we programmed, um, so the first weekend we're showing things like The Imitation Game, oh, like cool. The Resistance Banker, those that are made about our story, The Forgotten right. Battle, which again, that is very much where we live. And then we lighten up a little bit by the following weekend, because yes, we commemorate, but we also celebrate. Of course. So then we have some comedies. We've got, I think, Top Gun going on in the park, because who wouldn't want to see that in a Absolutely. big screen in the park? Yeah. Uh, and they're free, uh, 2 o'clock matinee, 7 p.m. is the main show. And that ends just in time for our newest feature. Yeah, tell me about that quickly before we run out of time. Okay, so really important. Our Victoria Day fireworks are not happening this year. Okay. So I want everyone to hear that. But they are being replaced by a nightly sound and light show. On the Dow's nice. Lake Boardwalk, 9.15 every night, a 10-minute show puts you into the Battle of the Atlantic. Sound, light, fog, lasers, and water effects wow. are going to make you feel like you are in the HMCS Ottawa and in the HMCS Haida. Uh, two Canadian ships that uh, played an incredibly important role with naval reservists and in the Battle of the Atlantic, of course, that kept supply lines open in order to be able to liberate the country. Well, what was the reason for the change? Um, well, there are a couple reasons. Uh, one is certainly fiscal. Right, uh, yeah. it's, it's, more, yeah. it's more appropriate to put on a show for 11 nights free as opposed to one 15-minute yeah. show, right? Yeah. And then the second point is, of course, it's it's more ecologically friendly. So instead of putting out sulfur and paper into the waters of Dow's Lake, and we know that fireworks, I mean, I have to come home and apologize to my own dog when we're <laughs> yeah. done. Uh, so certainly there's concerns there as well. Um, so not only is it good for the budget, because of course everyone's tightening up yeah. these days, um, but it's also uh, a fantastic chance to bring that adrenaline that you get from the fireworks, you're going to get to that with that show to as well. all 11 nights. Joe, yeah. always a pleasure. Thanks so uh, much. Thank really appreciate so, it. So uh, the Tula Festival kicks off uh, May 12th to the 22nd at Commissioner's Park. We'll be right back.